What's up everyone? It's Screws from Twin Stick again. Here we are playing Dark Souls 3. Some more. Yeah, it's great. Um, so, what I'm going to do right now is show you uh, one of the harder items to get for the Sunlight set. There's, a, there's some items you'll have to get and you'll trade them with the crow on top of the Firelink Shrine and I'll link your, um, I'll, I'll post rather the, the uh, list of items you'll need. This is the hardest one to get most of them are, are pretty easy to come by but this one is pretty tough uh, what you're gonna want to do uh, is come to the uh, you're gonna want to come to the Dragonkin Mausoleum uh, waypoint there's actually two routes that we can choose and I'll show you both but we're gonna do this one first uh, in Arch Dragon Peak uh, this kinda comes with like a couple of stipulations the first one here the uh, mausoleum one so what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna walk into this room and you're gonna hear a bell uh, and that is going to be the Serpent Man Caller uh, summoning a Drake Blood Knight. And these guys are pretty tough. Um, ultimately, we're not really after the Drake Blood Knight, but he drops a few souls. Uh, it kind of makes running this a million times worth it because you're going to need a lot of soul collection items. Or, uh, excuse me, luck items, not soul collection. Um, you'll need the luck items because this is an extremely rare drop. You're after the Serpent Man's staff. It's called the Mendicant Staff, okay? So what you're going to do from the bonfire is you're going to run into this room. You're going to sprint up the stairs. There's the bell. You're going to hang a right. Don't get hung up on these statues. You're just going to run all the way to the end of this hallway. Uh, keep your shield up. Target the collar as quickly as possible. And they go down pretty easy. And these guys are dropped the staff. This might be one right here. There it is. Holy cow. That's unbelievable. Uh, when I first ran this, uh, I, I'm not kidding, it took me over a million souls worth of runs, okay, to, to get this staff. That's, that's crazy to see it happen right now. Uh, wow. Okay, well, so anyway, he drops the staff, but he also summons the Drake Blood Knight. He's down here. You can kind of see him down there waiting for us. Uh, these guys are super, super tough. <laughs> Sort of akin to the Silver Knights, I guess you would see, uh, back in Irithyll. Uh Their weapons are infused with lightning. They hit like trucks, and they can take a lot of damage. And you can see how much damage he did to me in two shots. Uh, hopefully we can kill him real quick. Okay. And uh, once he's down, you're just going to run back down the stairs because it's highly unlikely that you're going to get the staff on the first drop like that. That's, that's kind of unbelievable. You're going to run back down the stairs, make a left, come back out to the bonfire and reset. And that would be this route, okay? Um, so the second route is the Great Belfry. This route is much safer. It's also much faster. Um... You're just going to run down to the end of the hall. Uh, you can see him down there. His back is turned to us. That little uh, kind of red and white blob down there. That's what we're after. So we're going to run down. And we're going to smoke this guy. Like a chump. There he goes. Okay. Again, those guys dropped the staff. I still can't believe I got it on that first try. That's unbelievable. Um, okay, and then you're going to run back here, and you reset the fire and do it again. And you just do it over and over again. It helps an awful lot, guys, if you have the gold serpent ring, uh, if you have gold coins to use. If There, there are a few other items. I, th I believe the symbol of avarice uh, will help a lot, too. If you can come in here with, with I don't know, over 250 luck, you, you're probably going to have a decent chance at it. I was doing it at 257. It still took me a long, long time, but I've been hearing of people getting them pretty quickly. Obviously, that can happen because we just saw it happen. Um, super lucky. Anyway, um, the items, uh, I'm going to go ahead and post those now. And um, those items right there that you're going to see on the screen, those are what you're going to need to trade into uh, the crow on top of the Firelink Shrine. 
and that's it, right? You'll just you'll get that. You'll get the set. I've got the whole set with me. Um, the one thing you won't be able to get from the crow is the sword of sunlight. Uh, the sunlight straight sword, I believe, is actually what it's called. Uh, that comes from a mimic, and uh, again, I'll post its location as well uh, towards towards the end when I when I uh, grab the set. Okay, that's it for this one. I'm gonna go ahead and. Uh, Split the video here, and I'll fade into trading in uh, to get the rest of the set. Thanks. Here we go. All right, guys. Here we are on top of the Fire League Shrine, and I've already got the whole set on. But I'm gonna show you what you got to do anyway. We still got the uh, we still got the staff that we got so luckily just a little bit ago. You walk up to the crow. She's gonna yell at you a little bit, tell her to give some stuff in her own special way. And you're going to go into your items list, jump over to your staff stuff, and you're just going to choose to leave it here. Uh, now, if I do it again, she's just going to tell me she's had enough and she won't give me another shield, obviously. But the idea is you're just going to drop this off. Each item you leave will, of course, result in a new, uh, a new piece. And that's how you do it. One at a time, though, guys. And never more than one because she just won't accept any more than one. Uh, but that's it. That's the set. It's pretty cool, right? I mean, it looks all right. Uh, the shield itself is not super spectacular. Uh, it's actually, it, it, I, you know, I really can't say that. It's probably pretty darn good for its weight. Okay, it only weighs five and a half units. I guess you call them pounds, but uh, not everyone's in America. Uh, and, um, you know, I mean, the armor itself isn't that bad. It's not that great either, but again, it's light. So uh, for its protection uh, versus weight, it's, it's not so bad. And it's kind of an Easter egg thing. Um... Unfortunately, the uh, NPC, the Sunlight Warrior NPC, is not in the game. Uh, uh, just, he's not here. So, you know, it's kind of cool to be able to, to see him in some form anyway. Uh, and it looks pretty cool, you know. Uh, yeah, anyway. As I said earlier, uh, I will post the uh, Mimic chest location to get the sword. The Sunlight Straight Sword you can see here in my hands. It's actually not so bad. Um... You'll need some intelligence to use it, but uh, upgraded, I think it's pretty good, and uh, I believe you can infuse this weapon. Uh, at any rate, pretty cool, right? You get the stuff, and uh, it's pretty easy stuff to get a hold of, except for that staff. Man, what a pain in the butt that is, except for, of course, this time, because why not make a liar out of screw loose, right? Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. This is it. That was how you got the sunlight set. Thank you very much. This has been Screwlish from TwinStick.com. Have a great night.